to go team this year instead of masters individual. After regionals, I just kept kind of thinking back to how it felt to be on that competition floor with the team and just how much fun I had. I just, I couldn't really imagine myself there, share it, like having that experience without everybody else that I got to experience regionals with. So that was a huge part of my decision, just <laughs> the fun that I had. And I knew I just wanted to be sharing that with everybody on the team. If I had some advice for people uh, in training, it would be to not take yourself too seriously day to day. You know, you're gonna have good days and you're gonna have bad, and you just kinda gotta reflect on it and then um, let the bad days kinda roll off because you're gonna have a good day. You know, it might not be the next day, might not be the next week, but it's gonna come back. Then to just really enjoy the good days because uh, that's something to celebrate, that you're getting to make progress. My favorite part about training with Nuno Costa is um, he, he just brings so much character and kind of wisdom experience to the table, um, but he's also just never too serious. Uh, he's serious when he needs to be, but um, just really adds a little fun. Th so this is really interesting. I was thinking about this. I've been doing CrossFit for nine years now, and I finally made it to the CrossFit Games for the first time. Nunu has been to the games as many times as I have not made it to the games. So that's actually super exciting. A little, uh, a little fun fact. Something else kind of about Nunu is sometimes, uh, I feel like maybe he's very unassuming. Um, you kind of expect him to be able to do these long workouts or um, really good at gymnastics movements, you know, endurance, but it's really, cool to see him fight through a heavy lift or just something maybe you wouldn't expect him to pull out. So uh, he's very unassuming on things like that and uh, it just kind of comes through in the clutch sometimes, which is super cool.